naked. I'm only a fool for you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another reciting video featuring Sarah and myself. So today I thought we would talk about something very controversial, which is my five-speed gearbox. Actually, sorry, it's not controversial, it's just extremely fragile. Now, Sarah has pretty much, sorry if she looks bad and has no hair because she's been molting in my car for the last 20,000 hours. That made no sense. I know. <laughs> I <haven't. laughs> so anyway, guys, um, today I wanted to have a quick chat to you guys before we go out and do our little mountain cruise about my five-speed gearbox. Where's my little thing? Can you find my little thing? Oh, it's okay. Is it going to disrupt the audio there? So if you guys didn't know, my car is, oh my god, can you drive any better? If you guys didn't know previously in my other videos, I pretty much spoke about how my 5-speed gearbox was the most amazing thing in the world because it was paired with my NA barrel and it was the fastest thing in the history of the world and it's amazing and it works flawlessly. Now I went in to get my transmission service the other day because it was slipping and it was crunching and stuff like that and so I said if you find anything in there let me know. Um, anyway, he found this which Sarah's gonna show you because I'm driving and you guys have been complaining about me not driving with my two hands. They found yeah, that, the whole thing. but not only did they find one of them, they found three of them. And we believe that it's actually um, my, one of my planetary, no, not planetary, one of my pinion gears. Um, and oh, because it's, a, what? There's a festival, oh, there's a festival. Going on. Oh my God, balloons. Red balloons, if anyone can tell us what it's red balloons mean. Museum of Brisbane City Hall free entry. And also, sorry if the microphone's really bad, we have to try and pick it up between both of us. So we just kind of have it placed down there, so it probably sounds really bad. So anyway guys, um, part of my pinion is actually breaking off. And that right there, that piece is actually, it looks like a tooth that's come off one of the planetary gears. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. But those gears kind of like, I don't know what they do. But there's tiny little gears that sort of separate. Uh, I don't know. I'll leave that up to people that actually know about it, and I'll learn more about oh, it eventually. Like, like 40 zone. 64 zone. I mean, no, 40. <laughs> Actually, private city. <laughs> private city in Mexico. So anyway, guys, what's the best thing to do with a five-speed that's breaking up and possibly dying in about three days' time? Uh, we're going to head on a mountain run. Um, so Make first of all... <laughs> to make it worse. So the transmission actually feels really nice at the moment and because of the service it just all the gears feel amazing. Um, there is a little crunch into second which is why it makes me believe that my secondary pinion, uh, my secondary, my second gear pinion is the one that's sort of starting to break up. Um, that only happens sometimes so there's no more slipping, uh, there's no more crunching of gears uh, so it seems to be fine so um, the guy <coughs> the guy at the transmission shop said that it should be fine to run on. Um, it'd be completely fine and I'll just keep wearing it out. You know, it, he said it could have happened anywhere from like, you know, 20,000 Ks. We don't know because it's never had a service before on the transmission. So it even could have been like these gearboxes are so fragile that if you're in on park on a on a steep driveway and then you put it into drive or reverse and then it does that big crunching noise that could possibly even be what it is i've never done that myself so anyway yeah he said it should be fine to run on so i'm just going to keep running it out until it's done um eventually i will end up getting the six speed conversion which i'll be doing once i get turbo but that'll be coming in the very sort of close future maybe mid next year so as long as i can make this transmission last about a year i'm completely fine with that and the best thing about it is the fact that it's a five speed auto which is what most FTs came out with. Uh, they're about 300 bucks to replace. Aren't Big deal. Aren't all automatic cars five speed? Like, isn't like isn't like, and even like, um, like <laughs> manual cars you have like. Although no, I didn't drive a six speed car for my test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad I recorded what you just said. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, because yeah, so um. I'm slowly I, losing brain cells no, here. I was really confused because my the, the Corolla, so I drove a Toyota Corolla, but a manual, basically the exact same as my car. Correct. For my driving test, mm -hmm. and it was six speed, and then reverse, you had to like pull up, and it was like above one, and um, or like just up and down somewhere, and um, 
yeah, it was really confusing because on the highway, like, you'd have to go into six. I'm just like, why don't we just turn fifth like normal? Anyway, so then the other five, when I did, like, reverse was, like, in a different position. And it was just very confusing. So I guess there is five or six. Is it seven? Is it, can you go more? Or is that, like, race cars? <laughs> just keep talking. This is brilliant. This is getting me so many views. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, as I said before, guys, the five-speed should be completely fun to run on. Um, I'm just going to have to make it last a year. That's completely fine. I've already been running it for two years and going to multiple track days and you know hasn't failed on me since so we're going to keep running it and if it breaks throw in a box put a new one in that's completely fine i'll just catch the train to work and um yeah we'll just um we'll just make sure we hang on to some money so that way if it ever does go then we have some money to repair it with yeah that's it so anyway thank you very much for hearing us out um we will put the camera on the outside of the car and I'll wipe, I'll mic up the boot and I'll mic up the front this time and we'll try and get some better audio clips. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you all in the next video. Okay, that's recording now. I mean, I guess we can just go on.
<laughs> this scares me, guys. This scares me like crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> Nailed it! I don't know if you guys can see that. 